Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun, you're watching Israeli News Live, and I, I know guys what this has looked like already. Uh, of course, I get up early this morning when I say look like the protests that are going on across the nation, different places. Seattle is having the protests. They're also having the protests in New York. New York City was the major place for protests. But there's a lot of different places. And I want to share with you a little bit my wife's own channel here, Psychological Operation, the Making Elites Orchestrating Riots. I want you to hear just for a moment some of what she says, and then I'm going to show you something that will back up what she's talking about. Let's listen in on this just for a second here. I'll make sure I get the volume up. ...by the elites, pre-planned very carefully for years and years. This is not a chance what you're seeing, okay? This is not just some kind of reaction of, of the Democrats and all that. This is, uh, this is a outcome of pre-planned psychological operation on American people. Steve Pachinik is part of that operation. As you well know, he's a psychiatrist, psychologist, specialist in regime change. He worked with elites, the worst of kind of elites, like Kissinger. Who want America dead. Okay, I wanted you to be able to see this just to give you an idea of what she's saying. I'll post a link to Yana's channel there for this video here so you can go listen to the entire thing if you would like to see that as well. Uh, but Paul Joseph Watson had actually reposted a, a tweet this morning. It was Eric Tucker's tweet there. So I just went, to, went, went straight to Eric Tucker, uh, but it was Paul Joseph Watson that I saw on my own uh, channel here because I'm subscribed to his uh, Twitter page there and saw that he'd retweeted re, uh, out Eric Tucker's tweets here that came out seven hours ago. Anti-Trump protesters in Austin Day are not as, as organic as they seem. Here are the buses. So in Texas, uh, in Austin, Texas, they are busing in the protesters. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, I can see at least seven buses in that picture there. He gets it out here. Wow, you can't you can see them even further back, but you know the trees kind of have it all kind of blocked in there. Let me see if I can enlarge the there we go. We can enlarge it a little bit more for you. Yeah, you can see them even back through the trees, way on back into there. So right here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I can see a 10th one there and a, an 11th one back there. 11 buses from what I can see there. Uh, and, and of course, when he did the first photo there, he was also showing how they were still pouring in. Uh, this is serious, friends, very serious. Uh, for this many uh, buses, they're busing in the protesters, and we're just supposed to be, believe that this is all just a bunch of, you know, angry people of what, ha what happened in the election. And, and granted, I know there are a lot of people that, that like Hillary Clinton, that support her, that believe in what her values are. Uh, I am definitely against a lot of her values. I'm against her warmongering with Russia. I'm against the fact that uh, she would just assume give women the right to totally destroy every life of a child. Uh, I I'm just not into those things. Uh, you know, when the people talk about pro-choice, does the child ever get a choice at all? I guess not in this case here. This is just whatever you want to do. Um, it's sad. And, and, and I know there's a lot of women that have gone through, the, through these things. They've gone through abortions. And, and I have compassion and feeling for women that have done this because I know a lot of them go through a lot of regret. Uh, and it's not normally just their fault either. They're, the men that are involved in this as well, that they, they, they bring about the children that share just as much blame on this. It's not just throw the women under the bus over the issue, but it's it's an issue that needs to that there needs to be help for the women that that have to that get into this situation to begin with. But totally different issue. I don't want to go into that area right now. Also in Seattle, uh, Washington. We have another breaking story. This came out just about one minute ago. Seattle police search for a gunman who have shot five people after an argument. Have no idea at this point what the argument is over, but it things are it's just things are going nuts right now. And my biggest concern is is that the whole thing with the election, they're capitalizing on Donald Trump's win. 
my wife even believes it, this has been pre-planned. I, I agree with her. I really think that they did this intentionally. Uh, Steve Pachinik, I don't think, was expecting Donald Trump to win because, to me, when I looked at his, his last video before he, uh, the election began, he was basically bidding farewell to Donald Trump, saying that he was not a political family. But you could tell he was very pro-Bernie Sanders. And he was asking for peaceful protest. They knew they were going to protest. But the thing was... Most people believed it would be the Trump supporters. Well, the Trump supporters might protest peacefully, but they're not going to go violent like what you're seeing with this Hillary Clinton, George Soros, bunch of wild maniacs out here. Uh, yes, there were some peaceful protests. I agree with that. So uh, when I say thugs, I'm not talking about those that are trying to peacefully protest. They, they, when you bust people in, no doubt you're also going to attract the local community that's in support with the cause. They don't like Donald Trump, and they would go out there and peacefully protest. No, those are citizens that are expressing their opposition. I'm not against that either. All right? I'm not against peaceful protesting, period. But believe me, they will bust in the thugs to make sure violence occurs. So why? The whole idea is to shut down the nation. And let me tell you, i got to make this clear, friends. I'm not just saying they're doing this. Oh, just we're just doing this by chance. No, it's just natural. I know this for a fact. I sat in Washington, D.C. with one of Obama's own members of his administration there in a private interview. And the man told me, this was back after uh, the Benghazi, the, 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 the uprising that was going on over there where the man burns himself <clears throat> alive. And I was told that the American government caused it. They projected the thought in the man's skull. And it's called, you know, they can do it in the, it's not like literally in the mind. You're just able to do something that makes you think that you're thinking something. The man set himself on fire. I was told that they did that with the black man at the Washington Mall, but they said they were not successful. And the man was not for it. He was just sharing with me the evils that are going on inside the government. He said they're trying to get the people to riot, Steve. The, the Obama administration was looking for a way to get the people to riot across the world, I mean, excuse me, across the nation in order to be, about, to be able to implement new world order to bring about the United Nations demanding that the U.S. disarm. And he said they've been trying everything and nothing seems to work. He even told me about the woman that rammed the, the gates with the child in the car. He said the thought was projected into her mind. She did it. They shot her. They killed her, thinking the people would rise up. He said, but nothing seems to work. He said they're trying to figure out what to do to make the nation riot. That's why we know it's a PSYOP. It's a psychological warfare on the people's minds to get them to do it. And believe me, they brought a lot of illegal people across the southern border that they have been shipping in by planes from the Middle East, from Mexico, every radical group they could possibly get. So when you see even, for example, like black people on the streets that are going nuts and stuff, this isn't black Americans in most cases. These are people that they have brought in from all the refugees that were over in Africa there that they have been leaving and fleeing out of the country, these ISIS members that are, that are the, from those, that part of the world. This is not, for the most part, this is not your black American people that have never rioted, that have never done these type things. I'm not saying that black people have not got upset over things and, and protested and, and then bad things happened. But these are the thugs that they brought in from South Africa, or from, excuse me, from Africa itself, that have become refugees that they have flown into America and snuck them through the southern border. That's what you're dealing with. That's why you see them doing exactly what Eric Tucker showed here, bussing people in. I'm Stephen Benoon. Don't forget to check out Yana's video. She does a much better job on reporting this than I do. Shalom.